California. Brought to you by TGB Promotions and Fox Sports. Sponsored by O'Reilly Auto Parts and proper number 12 Irish Whiskey. The finest, the tastiest, the smoothest liquid gold in the world. The three judges ringside are Edward Hernandez Sr., Carla Gais, Ron Scott Stevens. The referee in charge of the action is Sharon Sands. This bout will be eight rounds in the welterweight division. Introducing first in the red corner, wearing the gold with white trim, he weighed in at 146.2 pounds. With 11 victories, four by knockout, and just one defeat out of Albuquerque, New Mexico, please welcome Jose El Guero Sanchez. And across the ring, his opponent in the blue corner, wearing the black with silver trim, he weighed in at 146.6 pounds. With 21 victories, 15 by knockout, opposite of eight defeats and two draws, fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, by way of Cicero, Illinois, please welcome the hard-hitting and exciting Adrian El Tigre. Great fight here. Step up for Jose oh, Sanchez. No question. What an ovation for Adrian Granados. He's been a warrior. He really has. We're going to go down the list of fighters that he's fought. But, um, it's a oh. throwback fighter is Adrian yeah. Granados. Make no mistake about it. Chicago, right? He is a Chicago boy. What's interesting, and we get ready for Adrian Granados, Jose Sanchez. I ring announced Adrian Granados' main event against Jaime Herrera back in February of 2012. And now, lo and behold, with what he's seen in his career, what he's done, main events against the likes of Sean Porter, Adrian Broner, fought Danny Garcia here. And Garcia was the first man to stop him, but he does have a difficult opponent in him against Jose Sanchez. Jose Sanchez is 11 in one is his record. Jose Sanchez, someone that you cannot take lightly, and both men come from very uh, strong fighting cities. When you look at Jose Sanchez, he's the brother of Jason Sanchez, who fought Oscar Valdez in 2019, started combat sports doing Taekwondo as a kid in 2012, won a New Mexico State Amateur title, and represented New Mexico at the USA Boxing Nationals. Ooh. So I'm surprised he doesn't have or doesn't show that knockout power during his career, but he's throwing some haymakers at Granados. Oh, yes, he is coming strong. A big thank you to Jorge Hernandez for those tidbits. He has the New Mexico scene covered when it comes to Jose Sanchez. Adrian Granados has been away from the ring for quite some time, and Sanchez looking to push the pace early. Granado, of course, has the pedigree. He's been against some tough fighters, some elite fighters. Top of the food chain when you look at Sean Porter, Danny Garcia, Adrian Broder, but look at Jose Sanchez go. Sanchez showing a lot in this fight so far, Charlie. A couple of Mexican fighters going at it, huh? A preview of things to come for our all Mexican pay per view extravaganza coming your way on Fox Sports BBC pay per view. Probably what you're going to see a lot in that pay per view. Uh, you're going to see a lot of big punches and a lot of wars. It's very rarely do we see a card, and I'm going to be honest with the audience as we're under a minute to go, where you look at every fight and you're going to say, okay, that could be a boxing match. We're going to get a fight in this one. Boxing match here, you know, some pockets of action, but is it going to be all action all the time? I look at Molina and Ramos, I think action. I think Fundora, Cota, guaranteed action. Figueroa, Ramos, co main event, guaranteed action. Ruiz, Areola, guaranteed action. This is what we're going to be seeing. A left hook for Granados backing up Sanchez. What a fight so far here. Granados, oh, not winning those exchanges. Sanchez has shown a lot in this first round. There's a left hook there by Sanchez. The action intensifying here. 
Max Barrow says hi to you. He oh. said he's preparing the barbecue, as you told him. Oh, I love it. You know, it's great to... I'm glad he's enjoying himself. Yeah. And, you know, he can enjoy a few beverages for us as we are here yes. ringside. <laughs> we're not allowed. No, we're, we're not sure allowed. allowed to order the pay-per-view oh, and yes, enjoy the, this Saturday, which is beautiful. What beautiful weather. Okay, East so... East Coast is nice, too. So, if I'm at your palatial estate here in New York, or in the New York, New Jersey area, what are you cooking? If you weren't working today, what are you going to be cooking, Felix? Now we're put some steak. Some steak? Okay. Yeah. Back of the line, a little dope beverage. Oh, I like it. Probably okay. some tequila. Oh, yeah. Maybe some proper twelve. Oh, I like that. And uh, get ready for the fight. I agree. So if I was, you know, at my... I like watching fights, particularly at my parents' house. My dad, you know, he raised me with boxing and stuff. You know, my grandfather, you know... There's and, history uh, there. Yeah, there's been a lot of history, but my dad makes the best guy in this out in the world. A little lime. He has it beautifully. You know, have a couple of adult beverages as well. So that, to me, is how we get ready. Some guacamole as well. My mom's famous rice. And away we go. Maybe a little pool. I'm not going to die. Oh, Maybe yeah. Pool, yeah. So, oh, yeah. Yeah. Can't go wrong with that. And then uh, with the Fox app, you can also see it on the big screen. You can connect. watch it yeah. you know, on your smart TV. And you know what I'm seeing people doing now is they got TVs outside as well. Yeah. That's something that I need to do. I know you got a big TV outside. You know, you, know, you got the... Uh, it's like a mirror image something. or something that you can uh, just get, get, get the uh, pay-per-view and then transfer it to the big TV. Foxsports.com slash BBB. You can watch it on any device, any smart TV. Get yourself taken care of. But right now we're taking care of you with Agent Granados, Jose Sanchez. These guys are fire. Yeah. See, now this is where the experience kicks in now. Right. We saw what Sanchez had in that first round, and now he's more calm. Uh, Granados is starting to connect. Jose Sanchez, his brother, fought for the world title against Oscar Valdez. There's a nice right hand by Granados. Granados' is lead trainer, George Hernandez, who's been a staple in Chicago boxing for well over 25 to 30 years. There's a nice right hand there by Granados. Granados had a plain thing amateur record, 75 and 12. He was on the uh, well, he was a reserve for the Mexican Olympic team, so there's experience, heart, a lot from Granados. Granados is coming off of a loss to Robert Easter Jr. in October of 2019. That was in Pennsylvania. Good body shots there by Granados. He gets walloped, though, by Sanchez as he came forward. Sanchez showing he belongs. Definitely with that first round. Taking some shots also from Adrian. Big right hand there by Granados, followed by a left hook to the body. I've never seen Adrian Granados in a boring fight in my life. I mean, this is pretty much, his style hasn't changed. He fights like this all the time. There's a big right hand spraying Sanchez. I will say, though, that his defense has gotten better. No, it has. He was beating Fortuna to a pulp and Oh, he was. <laughs> he sneaked out of that fight. <laughs> yeah, so Fortuna ended up, and this is back when Errol Spence fought Carlos Socampo well, in June of yes. 2019. And Fortuna ended up languishing on the second rope and went outside in his head. But right now, Granados teeing off upon Jose Sanchez. Adrian Granados is the kind of guy that it doesn't matter what the record is, a throwback fighter because he's willing to take on anybody and everybody. We might just be seeing a younger Sanchez. He's not that young, 28, but a younger fighter taking control. Granados has been in a lot of wars. Oh, he has been. I mean, no doubt about it, but I mean, he's still coming out with this ferocity, and he's just coming forward. On to round two. This is the kind of fight, though, Felix, as we're just seeing the first two rounds. I'm almost disappointed that it's only eight rounds. <laughs> because I wouldn't mind seeing watching these guys fight for 12 rounds. Can you imagine? Yeah, unbelievable. Round two in the books. Tigre Granado's there in the corner. And Tigre means what, Felix? Tiger. Oh, that's right. Our translator himself. See here some action right in the center of the road. Through that right, did not land, and then Granados came back with a couple of combinations inside. So Granados at 31 years old, still showing he has a lot left. It's about time Granados, if he does win this fight, you know, to 
not come second against some of these uh, big boys oh, yeah. that he's for. He deserves it, you know? Yeah. But he's getting boxing a lot. He is a fighter that you recollect when you hear about those names of guys who fought everybody. And you look at Jose Sanchez as well, no doubt getting a very good opportunity here against Adrian Granados. Don't forget foxsports.com slash PPV. Join us on Fox Sports PPC pay-per-view. A couple of left hooks there by Jose Sanchez to begin the third round. Ray Flores, Felix De Jesus. The sun is shining here at Dignity Hell Sports Bar, also known as the War Friends. But it's not burning, which is good. Oh, no. no. We're not going to get a suntan from now on. No, we won't. I mean, I'm... <laughs> but I tell you what, it will be burning up inside that ring coming up at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific time, especially when we go live with the paper. Most definitely. They're going to be throwing a lot of punches and punches. Granados looking to close the distance. Chopping right hand by Granados. Granados unloading upon Jose Sanchez. Sanchez throws a combination. Chicago against Albuquerque, two cities that are known to produce tough fighters. Sanchez in the Johnny Tapia mode. Oh yeah, Johnny Tapia, Danny Romero as well. From the women's standpoint, Holly Holm. Spent a lot of time down in Albuquerque doing club shows and local MMA events. And I can tell you that the fans out there, much like Chicago, are passionate, they're loud, and they support fighters that give their all. Oh, shout out then to them. Love Albuquerque. Love Chicago, my hometown. You look like you had a good time in Albuquerque. <laughs> oh, I did. I had a great time. I have a good time in Chicago, too. Now, maybe a better time here. In Soka. Oh, big right hand by Granado. Snapping back the head of Sanchez. This gets tough. Sanchez is tough. Took a nice blow there by Granado. Didn't even budge. Oh, big shots. Oh, my goodness. The action is really picking up. There's an uppercut by Sanchez. Granados swarming Sanchez. Oh, big left hook there by Granados. Under a minute to go here in the third. That stung him. He got out of there. Holy mackerel. This inside fighting really benefits Granado now. Sanchez has hurt Granados on the offensive. This is the main event of our prelim portion. Wait until the pay-per-view tonight. This is what you're going to get. Oh, man. Oh, Granado is unstoppable. Oh, there we go, Sanchez again. They're both working inside. It's favoring Granados right now. Let's see if uh, he lost some steam there now and Sanchez could try to make up some ground. I think Granados might be tired. Yep. I mean, maybe that's just me, but he is now. They're both. I don't know if Sanchez is initiating the holding. There's a right hand that missed by Sanchez. A left hook there by Granados. A left hook to the body by Granados. Final moments. This third round has been absolutely scintillating action. Call your family. Call your friends. Let them know to tune into the BBC on Fox social media pages. We got a heck of a fight. It'll be history tonight. You don't want to miss it. What a matchup thus far. And in less than three hours, we go live Fox Sports, BBC pay-per-view. There we go inside. Granado's got the best out of this one, but Sanchez was wailing away. And there was that left hook you mentioned, Ray, that hurt him for, the, for a little moment there. And then Sanchez was smart enough to get out of that corner. Still hurting a little bit. They were going at it. Here we go, back in the center now. Sanchez with his second win. Try to stay away for a little bit. Granados kept pounding away. Wow, what a job. What is he doing there? More body work by Granados. They are really giving their all, Felix. I mean, this, this is just fun stuff. It's fresh. Both of them. Look at this. Granados is literally at the center of the ring. Both guys. It's like a, well, like a thing. A thing like a tiger oh. trying to attack right away. <laughs> They both are going at it. You know, you have two fighters who come from rich fighting cities, and they are just unloading. They're of Mexican descent. 
I don't think it matters to these two guys that they're making a dollar or a hundred thousand dollars. They're going to fight the same way all the time. In a parking lot or on the big stage? Doesn't matter. Granados attacking the body of Sanchez. There's a right hand that buckled the knees of Jose Sanchez. We'll see if Granados can go on the attack. Sharon Sands watching the action. Whatever happens, this is going to be a tremendous experience for Sanchez. It's been a tremendous experience for us watching this <laughs> ringside. Exactly. And for the viewers at home, wherever you are around the world. And now Sanchez, he was backing up and he almost lost his balance. Told you something about Dignity Health Sports Park where you get some battles. And this is only our third fight of the night. Back comes Sanchez. Sanchez on the attack. Oh. He's unloaded. Teeing off on Granados. But back comes Granados. Oh, wow. Big shots. Granados. Languishing on the ropes. He's eating big shots. But back he goes. Referee's looking closely at Granados. Now Granados backing up Sanchez. Oh, he got hurt. He's hurt. Granados might be hurt. Yep. Granados like shot. eats a right hand on the chin. He's backpedaling. Here comes Sanchez. Some time to recuperate here, does Granados. You cannot give Adrian Granados one moment of time to recover because he has taken big shots from the best in the world. But Sanchez bringing the heat from New Mexico. Sanchez's nose is bloody. Granados has taken big power shots here in this fourth round, under a minute to go here in the fourth. If you like boxing, this is what you're going to see the paper view. Yeah, and, and if you like good fights, <laughs> this is what you're going to get. Unbelievable. What heart. It just goes to show you that, guess what? Undefeated records are great. I respect those who have it. But it's okay if you have a loss or two because you have fighters like this that give maximum effort to this degree. That's what it's all about. There's a right hand connecting for Granados. Granados, I it would seem like he's been able to gather himself, but he was wobbling a little bit in the midway point of that round, Felix. Yes, of course, when he went into that corner, he didn't look well. Now he's back to the Granados we know. He could rate it there. Man, he's really working that body. It'd be interesting to see if Sanchez could hold on to some of those blows as the fight progresses. That ends the fourth. They touch gloves and yeah, give me some more of that. <laughs> That's what I want to see Omar Figueroa will offer that tonight. Imagine what that's going to bring with the lot. We got a lot more world champion taking on the Ramos. No, and he said it. You're going to see me tonight like you've never seen me before. So he's a great fighter. And we see uh, some of the highlights of the, this round that just passed. Sanchez did not connect there. And then he caught Granados, brought him into the corner. And that's where it was dangerous for Granados. Referee was really looking at uh, his health here. But then uh, Sanchez missed a couple of punches. He got a little tired. And then Granados came over and started attacking. So that saved him there that uh, Sanchez did not connect. And uh, he gave him time, uh, the veteran, to uh, get his head straight. And so far, we're seeing a war. And again, if you like wars, if you like fights, if you like toe-to-toe -to -toe action, join us on Fox Sports, ABC pay-per-view, foxsports.com slash PPV, a better value than most pay-per-views. Join us coming up in less than three hours, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific time. The way we're going, they might have to put that price up. <laughs> Seriously. I mean, if it was a sliding scale, uh, you would probably have to pay more, but you get it for under 50 bucks. So join oh, us wow. in less than three hours. Here we go. Both got their second win now. And that could be advantageous to us, but might be bad for them. Yes. Because they are going to continue to go at it. First four rounds, and you know what? Again, and we've said this, Felix, if I'm a judge, I'd hate to be a judge in this one. Oh, this one, we don't know so far. I mean, even maybe? Maybe a little edge to Sanchez so far because of that good last round. But uh, it could go either way. What a fun matchup, our main event here in our prelim portion. Top of the hour, we go live on Fox. That is Landy Lada, Thomas Lamada in our main event. Two hours of action on Fox. Then we transition to the pay-per-view, 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific time. Andy Ruiz, the only Mexican to capture the heavyweight championship of the world, takes on the first man of Mexican descent to challenge for the heavyweight championship of the world, Chris Areola. 
And you know he's itching to win the Zulus Jr. after that, his last fight against Joshua, so. You lost Anthony Joshua, relinquished its title in December of 2019, and what he's trying to prove is that he's not just the one-hit wonder. But Chris Areola did say in the lead-up to this fight, he wants to make Andy Ruiz this generation's Buster Douglas. Yes. Just, uh, just wait and see what's going to happen. Don't miss it. Pay-per-view. Just over the halfway point of the fifth. Right hands and a left hook by Adrian Granados. Granados 21, 8 and 2 with 15 knockouts. Sanchez 11 and 1 with 4 knockouts. I'm bewildered by the fact that Sanchez, and you said this earlier, Felix, that he only has four knockouts. With the kind of punches that he's thrown, I mean, my goodness. Yeah, so you would think that, you know, early on he would have more knockouts because he's just relentless. But it hasn't shown on paper, but uh, what we're seeing tonight uh, from the, uh, he's taking it up the second gear. Oh, nice shot there. Good body work there by Sanchez. Back comes Granados. You know what, Felix, with a card like this, you're seeing every single fight, by the way, on either the prelim portion here on social media, on Fox or on the pay-per-view. I'm glad we got a nice cup of coffee as we were heading to the arena with Brian Kenny and uh, you know, we enjoyed ourselves getting caffeinated to call the action here. Probably in the East Coast now. Uh, the barbecues are winding down. You're seeing that last piece of steak. Should I take it or not before the fight? And... Um, Indulge yourself. <laughs> Indulge yourself. Indulge yourself. It's the weekend. YOLO. And this night's going to be great. Oh, without a doubt. He'll go down in history. Watch. Oh, I can absolutely guarantee that. Granados and Sanchez on to the sixth. We go. You see Sanchez's reaction there. Oh, like I'm in a fight. In a real fight with Granados. <laughs> absolutely. This is no joke here. This is bring your hard hat to work day and uh, be ready to absorb some punches. Yeah, they're working in the corner, both of them. Trying to get some air, because this has been so far. Rock them soccer. Yeah, that's exactly what I'm glad you said that Rock'em Sock'em Robots. That's what Chris Adeola said. He goes, main event, it's going to be Rock'em Sock'em Robots. I like that guarantee. You know you're going to get it from all of them. I mean, it is going to be something, and again, I highly doubt that that, our main event's gonna go the distance. And to be honest with you, I wanna see this fight, if we could push it, I'd wanna see it go 15 rounds. It's been that fun to watch. <laughs> they won't last 15 rounds the way they go. <laughs> this is just uh, unbelievable. And it's only the main event of our prelim portion. Six, round six, this one is scheduled for eight. Adrian Granados and Jose Sanchez. As we kick off the Cinco de Mayo holiday with this all Mexican extravaganza on Fox Sports PBC pay-per-view coming up at 9 Eastern, 6 Pacific time. And Granados does not take a break, he just goes at you. He just comes at you Look at this. Boom. like a house on fire is what he is. Going back. I don't think either himself. man knows how to take a step back, Felix. No, Sanchez is the same way. Um, demonstrating a little left jab there, Sanchez, but Granado does not stop. Felix, you've been around your fair share of prize fights over the years, over the course of your career, but how special is the Cinco de Mayo holiday for fight fans? No, it's probably maybe one or two, if not the most uh, watched event, boxing events, because of what it means, it's significant. So, you know, I've seen a couple of great fights, but I've never seen a card felt like this one, where you're going to get, every fight's going to be action. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, you look at our card, as soon as nice shot there by Granados, back comes Sanchez. You got Molina and Ramos in our opener, but look at this, Granados swarming Sanchez. I mean, Floyd was always a big draw. Yeah, he fought yeah. Cinco de Mayo and also Mexican Independence Day. Yeah. Cinco de Mayo now coming to Andy Ruiz, Chris Adeola. Left hooks to the body there by Sanchez. 
What I love about this fight, Felix, as we are approaching 65 seconds, both men are willing to engage in a fun booth fight. And those that are, I'm showing you my age, but millennials are probably thinking, what's a phone booth? Well, it's when you have to pull over and make a phone call on the telephone in a small little space. I think there's only one in New York City that I don't even know and if it's they... like a museum. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they're doing. They're fighting almost in a phone booth in close quarters. Yeah. One of the movies had it, like the Matrix had it. Some, <laughs> people, <laughs> some people might not know what a phone booth is. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Under 30 seconds to go. Just when you think one of these guys is beat up and he's not going to continue, that's when they get that second win and keep going. It's like a cup of coffee that I need in the morning. You wake up. It's exactly what they're doing. Granados charging right after Jose Sanchez. Sanchez willing to throw a lot of punches. And this will end the sixth round. Granados looking to end with a flurry. And that ends the sixth. Two more rounds remaining. Hello, those keep coming on Twitter. Thank you for being with us. Oh, absolutely. On social media, we greatly appreciate you joining us. Follow us at PVC on Fox. Also, at Felix DeJesus MLB. So for me, at SBR Flores, give us your thoughts on the prelim portion thus far. This has been exciting stuff, Felix. No, unbelievable. And this is just starting. We have packed fights on Fox all year. So it's going to be great. And, uh, it's going to be a hot summer for boxing, to tell you yeah. that right now, Felix. Especially with fans coming back. Yes. They, people are craving. They want to see their fights. Especially tonight, pay-per-view. What's that song? Welcome back, welcome back. That's what we're saying to fans here in Dignity House Sports Park. Oh, I missed them all. Is that Welcome Back Carter? I think maybe. Oh. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I'm showing my age. <laughs> <laughs> Round seven. This one is scheduled for eight. Adrian Granado said Jose Sanchez matching up in what has been an extremely entertaining welterweight matchup. Renato's back inside the ring since October of 2019. A loss at the hands of Robert Easter Jr., a fight that he feels like he was victorious in but was robbed of. Renato's pushing the pace. Easter campaigning at 140 now. It's safe to say that of the fights we've seen tonight, this has been the most most fun. Well, I mean, I, they are, I'm sure the copy box guys, the Kenobios, Bob and Dan, and the entire Kenobio family that do a great job counting the bunches for copy box, they are probably thinking, man, oh man, these guys don't stop their fingers are working on overdrive. <laughs> carpal syndrome? <laughs> yeah, something like that. Carpal tunnel syndrome <laughs> from hitting the button so much. A minute has elapsed here in the seventh round. And they just continue to throw caution to the wind. And here's some swelling underneath the left eye of Sanchez. The way that these guys are eating punches is how I like to do when I enjoy some carne asada tacos. I'll tell you that, Felix. Yeah. Just a little lime and some sauce. Oh, yeah, you know, some lime and a little it. salsa, some guacamole. I'm good to go. And you're going to be good to go if you order the pay-per-view because you're going to get a tremendous night of boxing and fights coming up in less than three hours. Fox Sports, BBC pay-per-view, foxsports.com slash PPV for information. Go, oh, here the big stars are coming. Yeah, Jimmy, see Lennon Jimmy Lennon Jr. is wearing a dapper cream coat. Terry, a big guy Terry, there. Absolutely. He's also looking dapper. He also security as well, handling business. And right now, Granados and Sanchez are handling business. Big right hand that missed by Granados, but an uppercut jarring the jaw of Granados by Sanchez. They do not break. You see Sanchez trying to take this fight outside now. 
What is the phrase that they like to use? Uh, adelante, adelante, adelante. That's what you're getting. And what does that mean, Felix, since you're our esteemed translator? Just keep going, keep going, That's going, right. going, keep going to the front. <laughs> Just don't stop. And none of these have stopped today. What a fight. Not at all. These three fights on our prelim portion here on our social media pages have been wickedly entertaining. One more round to go between Adrian Granados and Jose Sanchez. Round seven in the books, one more round remaining. Oh wow, they're gonna go for it in this last round. It's a tight fight right now. Can't tell who's winning. It's that close. I'm glad I'm not paid to be a judge. No, this one's a tough one to score. Bernardo's the veteran showing a lot, but he still has a lot left. Sanchez trying to now play with the big boys here, showing himself that he can. Well, he's certainly making Albuquerque, New Mexico proud. I yes. tell you that, both fighters are representing their home cities well. You got George oh, Hernandez, who is, I like to call him the general, because he runs a very militant-like camp you know, he used to be the trainer of the late great Ed Brown, who passed away, a young fighter from Chicago also. He used to train Josh Greer and been the longtime trainer of Adrian Granados. Oh, he has them all set up for this last round. No matter what the result is, Felix, I want to see both guys fight again. And I wouldn't mind seeing them both fight each other again. Oh, wow. And the Granados, he's cheering up the crowd. He knows that this has been a war. Both of them have. We have... Three minutes left, and let's enjoy this. And Sanchez starts off throwing haymakers. They start throwing power punches. Oh, wow. Look at that, Granado's trying to get inside. Those haymakers were incredible by Sanchez starting this uh, last round. Yeah, these last 160 seconds of this fight are going to be very compelling between Adrian Granados and Jose Sanchez. I agree, I want to see this fight again, maybe yeah. a 12-rounder. Yeah, let's see it. Why not? Let's make it on a weekday, too, so that every, you know. <laughs> a double left hook upstairs by Sanchez, but back comes Granados, who unloads a right hand down the center on Sanchez. Granados, what you see is what you get, an all-action fighter all the time. Whatever happens, this is going to make such a better fighter out of uh, Sanchez going into war with one of the best in Granados. And for Granados to take, this is his comeback fight. He could have taken a fighter of less opposition, but instead he said, give me a tough guy in Jose Sanchez. Does it back down. He's shown it tonight. Oh, look at this exchange. It's incredible. There we go. He's trying to jab a little bit here in this final minute and a half. But Granados just keeps on top of Sanchez. Under and a left hook that connected by Granados. That hurt him. That hurt Granados. Granados got clipped as he unloaded a left hook on the temple of Sanchez. There's a left hook by Granados. Oh. He's looking to wear down Sanchez. Sanchez might be hurt. He might be wobbled. And now Granados going on the attack. Sharon Sand separates the two. We'll see if Granados can push the pace in these final 65 seconds. He's dead tired, but he's looking for the knockout, Gray. Big shot there by Granados as he is pushing the pace on Jose Sanchez. What a war. Oh, nice Big right. shots by Granados. Sanchez, how is he remaining upright? He's holding on. He just wants to survive now, but he's also throwing his haymakers. Look at this, Granados, what a showing. What intestinal fortitude by Jose Sanchez to not go down from the punches of Adrian Granados. Happy Cinco de Mayo holiday as they are unloading two Mexican fighters giving their all. A big right hand by Granados. It's unbelievable how they can keep going, and this is what we're going to see all night on the pay-per-view. Here they go down the stretch we go. Adrian Granados, Jose Sanchez. Can you believe that it's just the prelims? Unbelievable. They're both exhausted but still throwing. It's fights like this that make me proud to be involved in prize fighting. And to the bell they go. What a fight as they both embrace. Unbelievable the respect there at the end. Look at Granados, he can still go a couple more rounds. Unbelievable. Sanchez. 
Also, what a, what a showing. Unbelievable. This is going to mean so much for both fighters. Felix, that was as fun as it was to watch. It was even more fun to call. I mean, my goodness. The ebbs and flows and the action that we saw in that fight, it took us on a roller coaster of emotions, and it's so fitting that we're here in the Hollywood area. Yeah, no, definitely. Both of them deserve to win. Might be a tie. That's a, that, I mean, that's how this fight went. It was rock em -sock. It was tremendous, and that is just a preview of things to come in less than three hours. FoxSports.com slash PPV. It is Fox Sports BBC pay-per-view. Andy Ruiz, Chris Areola. If you think this is something, wait until the pay-per-view in less than three hours. Unbelievable. We got, uh, of course, that first fight. Ramos. This is Ramos against Javier Molina. Another barn burner. Sebastián Fundora. It's not right Inferno, 6-6 six uh, six plus. Again, Torre Cota, who's also going to give you action. Omar Figueroa Jr. against Bill Ramos, another one. And, of course, the main plate, Angie Ruiz Jr. against Chris Ariola. And listen, in all those four fights, defense is optional because <laughs> they love to throw. All those guys like to throw. And I am very curious to see how the judges have this one rendered because Granados, he brings his all. And the fact that he hasn't been in the ring since October of 2019, unbelievable. Both men gave terrific accounts of themselves. Unbelievable with the shape that uh, Granados is in. You see Hervey Estrada, who also does great jobs here in the corner. 